I had this dream of doing a, my first exhibition about this very first project, which is my baby, as soon as I collected enough pictures to do so. And this morning, I just got to know that someone decided to steal my dream. Hello, welcome to my podcast, Talk to Nana, soul to soul conversation that I'd love to have with you as a creative, as a black woman, as a human being on her journey through life. This first episode will be about a specific story um, that I wanted to share because I needed to get it out of my chest. Uh, it's been a few days that I didn't really feel great about it, so I've decided to find a creative way and an inspiring way to share my story, and uh, I think it could bring a debate, um, and I will actually let you judge by starting the story. So if you don't know me, I'm Nala Balasama Sangare. I'm a creative, multifaceted artist and creative director. Uh, in the fashion, beauty, and art world. So let's dig straight into the topic. Uh, this story is about a project that I started years back. It's actually one of my very first projects because it really is about my own story. Basically, I call this concept the Afropointillism. Um, so what it is, it's... Uh, my journey as an artist to discover who I am and discover my passion through artistry. Um, it started by me receiving this postal card from my dad. Uh, you know this postal card with um, traditional dancer, it would be uh, with face painting and I would always be fascinated. I discovered my craft and my art uh, through school. I had a teacher passionate about Van Gogh, so she brought us to an exhibition, we watched his biography, and then we even started to paint, uh, like it was the pointillism. And I really loved that idea of creating something out of dots. So I created that concept um, in that same analogy because I was from the diaspora, born and raised in France, and I was going through my path of discovering my um, culture in Africa. And as an artist, obviously very visual, to me was as if I was connecting the dots of my African journey. And that's how the concept Afropointillism was born. Um, 2018, I'm in Nairobi, Kenya. And uh, this time I wanted to involve uh, a photographer because the idea of um, that I had in mind was to share the creative direction through their length and see how it could evolve from one photographer to the other. Um, so I had, you know, everything sorted. I had the model. The model was uh, Nyara Chabushayuel. She is uh, from South Sudan and was an, uh, a new face that I was supposed to develop. Uh, so the idea was to build up our portfolio. So we are home at my place and I, I like to do with some music uh, to just, uh, you know, bring my artistry out. Uh, I did the whole setup. So... I have the head, the, the, the head of makeup, hair, styling, and creative direction. The only thing I'm not doing in this project is photography because for me, this project was something that I needed to make travel through the length of different photographers just to have different perspective. Uh, and the long-term project was to do an exhibition of all the visuals of the different facets of Afropointillism. Uh, bear in mind, it's a collaborative project, so no money involved. Uh, the, the only uh, agreement that we had with the photographer was that uh, she would do the pictures. The highlight of this project was really for me the fact that uh, Miarach, the model, managed to be signed by international companies thanks to this photo shoot that we sent to the agency. So we did the project, uh, beautiful pictures, 
came out. It was actually in my place. I even uh, used uh, one of my boo-boo for the backdrop and to illustrate it, actually the picture is just here. Uh, the first time we released the project was on her page. Um, uh, to my surprise, a few weeks or months later, uh, I received a call of a friend sending me pictures and asking me if I knew about it. It was a, an international exhibition uh, showcasing women in photograph, African women in photography in uh, Ethiopia. Good to know, I've never been there, uh, just through the airport. Um, but it's an exhibition. You need to know that uh, I had this dream of doing a, my first exhibition about this very first project, which is my baby, as soon as I collected enough pictures to do so. And this morning, I just got to know that someone decided to steal my dream. So two days ago, I uh, I look at my phone. I follow this um, this Instagram page that promotes um, African content, African creatives, and and it's a very very um, beautiful concept. And I love the page that I follow for um, years now. And um, I'm sure I've been featured maybe once or twice on it. Um, so I see the photo shoot. And obviously I know I can share these pictures with him. So I'm checking, I see the first one, I see the second one, both from the photo shoot. And then the rest are from uh, that same photographer. And then I read the caption, it's on the 8th of March, celebrating the International uh, Women's Day and celebrating her as a photographer and her art. You gotta tell me it's about her um, and I don't mind. She could share any picture that she wants, but once again, we have an agreement and I, I already said that if she used the pictures I need to give my agreement. That's just simple. It was a collaboration, no money involved. Luckily for her, she got opportunities out of it. And just to come back to the, the agreement, our agreement was that it was a collaboration and what I would expect from her is to put me on paid jobs um, in exchange to this project. And it never happened, so obviously um, you get that. Uh, for me, it's a, it's a big loss because I gave and never received and even the exposure, she had the benefit of the exposure and I never had. Um, you see, we are creative, but it's, it's, it's my path, it's my passion, it's my everything. And it's not just about the money, but the recognition and also the opportunities that could have come with this project that I've never seen so far. And so when I see this picture today, Yes, this time I'm really mad. I'm not just sad, I'm really mad because I, I just feel that it's not fair. And especially when you know that it's just an Instagram page that you shoot me a DM and just tell me, just a heads up, this is what is gonna happen. I know what we said, but I'll ask them to credit you. Because, I mean, if you see the hierarchy of, of, of a project, the creative director is the the brain is is the seed of the product unless you're the photographer and the and the creative director i'm not going to the legal aspect as a creative director you own the project right you own the idea and on top of that it was not just like coming as a photographer with your expertise and and yes, you came with your eye, but the studio was my place, the setup was mine, everything but your finger on the, the camera was from me. So I'm asking you guys, what do you think? Am I, am I overreacting? Am I too, too sensitive about it? How would you react? if you were me in this situation, because right now I'm, as I said, I'm, I'm, I'm hurt, I'm upset, I'm mad, 
and I tried to take lesson on. In this story, we were three women. The model got signed from the agency and I'm so grateful for it. She did her international exhibitions and she uplifted her um, photographer's career because because of, and I'm not even the one saying it, other pairs in the field told me that thanks to this project, she got opportunities and here I am, silent and moaning about the fact that I will never have my first exhibition for myself. So I want to get my story back and I want to share my story with you because it could help someone to prevent the creative part of us, the naive creative part of us that we are all genuine in our intentions. I feel betrayed, I feel sad and hurt. And I just wanted to take it back and own my own story. Yes, I will do my own exhibition and I will bring this project the way I want it and I dreamt it. And this just gave me the push and the lift to talk about it and start to experience my own journey with this project. And you will see because this is the picture that you can see up to my head. Um, this project gonna be mine again and yeah I just want to close this episode by saying that as creatives we are sensitive we live for our craft and the payoff is the credit the visibility and the acknowledgement so I want also to get my flowers and and the round of applause and the exposure and the opportunities that this project can bring me and that's the reason why i decided to own my story and tell my own story i hope that my story inspired you and would even help many of you artists and um, again i did it to release what i had in my heart i uh, I don't want any negativity behind that. I just want to have my voice and my own story back to me. And, um, and I can't wait to read your comment about how you feel about it. And, um, and I want to make sure that the Afropointillism concept and this photo shoot is known as a project of the creative direction of Nana Balasama Sangare because it's mine. Thank you. I wish you all the best. Bless you and take care of you. I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. One Africa, one love.